here we have a file with lots of lines like this the first 16 and the last 16 characters are irrelevant for this exercise and then we have these addresses a or commands a b d and c and we want to co co compute how many of these each one of them we have so we have the parse variable this is the script and uh, this is the data file this is the script and uh, this is the data file so this data file as you can see has command comments and uh, starting with that uh, hash mark and then these lines and here is the script so let's run it and this is the output you will see that uh, all the comments are listed here and then um, a separation line and then how many of each commands we saw so the script will have first of all a mapping of the each command a b c or d and how long uh, the parameter afterwards is so if you remember he said that uh, there is an E and then three characters after it, that's the, that's the parameter of it. And a B and the number of characters. And in this one you have an A and another A and so on. <coughs> so we had we created a, a mapping. And that's just part of what um, suppliers of this data provide us. Then here is the name of the file, which is hardcoded partially, but you can override it from the command line, open the file and then here is the main part of the script. So let's, there's an outer while loop and then an inter, internal while loop. So the outer while loop reads in one line, jumps off the new line and um, checks whether the first character, you see the sub, sub, substring, the first character, whether it's a DS, if it is then we go next, we go to the next iteration, next line. If not, then we just get rid of the first and the last 16 characters. And what's in between, that's the commands. And now is the internal while loop that goes over, that loops, makes iteration as long as there are commands in this string. And inside we'll just get, reduce this string all the time. So the first character, if, if these are the commands, the first character here, 0, 1, 0, so from starting to 0, 1 character, that's the first command, and that's what goes to $C. But as you can see, this is a four-parameter substring. Last parameter is empty string. So this will return the first character and replace it with an empty string. So effectively, the CMDs will be one character shorter. The first character will disappear. So this is the first character. If the length $C is not defined, so that's length is the mapping, right? This is the mapping. If it's not defined, then we warn that, well, it, I didn't write here the full warning, but there should be a warning of uh, this, uh, this um, command not existing. And then we call next line, and we'll see that uh, in a couple of seconds. But assuming that uh, it, it was there, the length was there, then we get from the substring that command so take the commands from zero that length that number of bytes and replace it again with an empty string and return the actual command so the actual the parameters of this command so we have the in dollar c you have the letter a b or c or d and this is the rest of the part of the command and here we can count how many times the letters were appeared that's just what we wanted to do and print out what letter and what command uh, we saw. This is mostly I think for, for debugging uh, in this case but we have this output so when you look at the output this is what's being printed so which command and what number what parameter it we saw. And that's it. So we go over line by line and then the CMDs will be every time it will be shorter one character and then shorter several characters and then we try it again and as long as it's, it, it has content we are doing this these loops these iterations once the cmbs is empty we go to the for the next line 
So this here I call next line. Actually, you, you could do this two different ways. Um, what I want you to say here is that stop this whole command. The, the whole line is just disregard because there was something that we couldn't recognize, so there was a problem. So just disregard this whole line, the rest of the line, because from now on we don't know what's going on. So we could say call hit last, and then it would leave this while loop, and then go to the next iteration. Uh, or, and that's what we did here, we called next, but if you call just next, it will be next of this while loop. So you have to tell which while loop to, to your you know, acting on. So we said line, and here we set a name for this loop. So this loop has a name called line, so when we are calling next line, Perl knows that we are talking about this while loop, so the next of this one. And we'll go here and do the iteration. So once the, all this loop is done, we are here to print out the report, so we go over all the keys, which are just the letters A, B, C, and so on, and how many times they happened appear. And that's what we have here.